Are we getting married or not? Well, I, I think now that everything has changed, that we should take advantage of this opportunity and examine our options separately. Be reasonable. Look, I, I know this minister that married us was a fraud 25 years ago, that our marriage is not legal. But instead of correcting that mistake, you're going to walk out on me? Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm having as much trouble absorbing this as you are. All I know right now is I need some space. Where are you going? Well, I, I, I think I'll go to Barbara's if that's all right with you. Uh, of course, uh, whatever you need. Look, don't do this. We'll go home, we'll talk this over. Leaving is not going to solve anything. But then what will? What will solve our problems? I, I want to thank you all for this party. And I love you all very much. For heaven's sake, Bob, are you going to stop her or not? I'm going to try. Don't go. Why shouldn't well, I? You're blowing this way out of proportion. Am I? Look, you say you want to spend more time with me. You want the marriage to be our number one priority. I can do that. Really? Yeah, we correct the mistake and we get married for real tomorrow. How? How? I, I, I clear my schedule at the hospital, take a few days off, and we, we just focus on each other. What do you say? Wait, 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 wait. You can't go out there. You can't go. Why not? Because Dad and Kim are still out on the patio talking, and I don't want you to do anything to interrupt them. You know, at least they're talking. Well, that's a good thing, right? Let's hope so. I think uh, we should be prepared for pretty much anything right now. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if something went right in this family? You know, especially a wedding. I was really serious about this being a blessing in disguise. How can any of this be a blessing? Because it's given us an opportunity to think about our lives, to think about what we really want and where our relationship is going. No, no, no. I want to be married to you like I thought I was for the last 25 years. We have a lot to think about. Sleep well, dear. Well, uh, my wife, uh, or whatever Kim is calling herself now, is not sure that she wants to marry me. Oh. Yeah, but Mom's going to marry you again at some point, right? How the hell do I know? Bob. I'm sorry, Mom, but whatever she's thinking, whatever she's doing, I, it seems to be that she thinks our marriage is over. Maybe she's right. No, that can't be. No, it's a crazy misunderstanding. Yeah, that, all you gotta do is apologize. She'll forgive you. Apologize for what? She walked out on me. Just talk to her. Dad, you can't just give up like this. Everyone quiet. Can't you understand? Kim's just trying to make a point. Well, I got her point loud and clear, Mom. Well, you're going to go after and make it right, aren't you? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go have a drink. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a whole bottle. <sighs> what now? Put our heads together and do whatever it takes to get them married. How? Divide and conquer. Maybe we should just leave them alone. <laughs> Maybe no. No, we gotta fix this. Why? Because if Dad and Kim can't make it, what hope is there for the rest of us? Amen. Uh, so, what's the plan? Well, Tom is going to find your dad, and he'll call the two of you if he needs backup. Hmm? What am I going to say to Granddad? Well, you could just remind him that he and my mom belong together. Maybe they don't. Hey, I, I'm sorry. I thought they were rock solid, too, but guess what? They're not. Here's Nancy's. Oh, thank you. I'm just... There's no such thing as a happy ending. Well, I'll be sure and tell you if Dad that. No, I'm not talking about you and Dad. I'm You're just... You're just still mad at Allison. Yes, I am. And well, what's with you inviting her here without warning me? Oh, you did that? Uh, why? D do not act like you didn't put her up to this, okay? Casey, I did. <laughs> oh, what did you do? You know, I'd really like to hear the answer to that myself, but I gotta get over to Barbara, so wish me luck. Good luck. Um, you invited Allison here, and she showed up? Mm-hmm. Uh, 
she really cares about Bob and Kim, and they like her too. And if Casey hadn't sent her away, I, mean, I think Casey's it would have been fine. Casey's just a bit cynical right now, okay? And, and who can blame him? Things didn't work out with a woman that he loved. And that's maddening. Longing for that, that someone who accepts you for who you are, seems to know everything that you need. You're talking about Vienna, aren't you? That's so sweet. Yes, I'm talking about Vienna. Tom? I found that. Uh, where? At the Lakeview. How was he? How do you think? Right. Okay, uh, I'll be right over. Does anybody know where Bob went? Yeah, he's right downstairs. Tom's keeping an eye on him. Oh. Well, that's good. That makes me feel a lot better. You know, Kim, now that you have gotten Bob good and scared, don't you think it's time that you put the poor guy out of his misery? No. Uh, well, what, come on, what does he have to do, huh? What are you waiting for? You think I'm going to tell you so you can tell Tom, then Tom will tell Bob, and then Bob will come up here and try to appease me? No, thank you. Would that really be so bad? Yes. You know... If we don't let Bob know what he's done wrong, you might spend the next 25 years apart. If he can't figure that out for himself, that might be just as well. You don't mean that. Okay, okay, all jokes aside here, why can't you just forgive him? <laughs> I have. I mean, just as he's forgiven me many times. And then I found out you were pregnant. Why didn't you tell me that the child was mine? How could I do that to you? How could I do that to my sister? Oh, God. I had done so much already. So you've carried this all these years alone. So if you've already forgiven him, then why won't you marry him again? Because I love him. I really don't understand. It's his job. It's going to kill him. He leaves the house long before breakfast in the morning. He comes back long after I've gone to sleep. I have tried everything. I've tried sweet talk. I've tried threats. I've tried nagging, and nothing works. He simply won't slow down, and I will be damned if I'm going to stand around and watch my husband work himself into an early grave. So instead, you're just going to fight with him? Kim, won't he work even harder if he doesn't have you to come home to? I mean, what if you lose him because you walked away? I'm praying that he loves me more than anything. And that means more than the hospital. And that somehow he'll realize that. And then he'll come back to me tonight. I know that I am going to just love being your wife but uh, we can still be friends too can't we i think so mm -hmm. i figured one of you would find me <laughs> you okay that it's me mm. could have been worse oh thanks Join me. What are you doing here, Dad? Listen, don't worry about me, okay? Why don't we have some fun? This could be a bachelor party. I could be a bachelor for the rest of my life. Well, maybe Kim just needs a little time. Time? To decide whether to marry a man that she's been married to for 25 years? You talk about stubborn. So she's the stubborn one. Did you apologize? Yeah. Did you mean it? I won't have my wife running my life. 
It just doesn't sound like Kim's style. Well, leaving me wasn't her style until tonight, but she has. So be it. There you two are. I thought I'd find you here. Oh, I thought you'd be upstairs trying to talk some sense into my wife. No, no. I decided I wanted you to come here and uh, talk with you. Tom, would you mind leaving me alone with your father for a few minutes, please? Sure. I'll be out in the lobby if you need me. How are you doing, Bob? I'm swell. <laughs> Not a care in the world. No, 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 no. I'm just so sorry about what happened. Don't give it a second thought. Well, I have been thinking about it. I've been thinking about what Kim said, and I think maybe she's right. About what? I think this, this mix-up with that fake minister is a gift. I think it's a gift for us. Which us? You and me. You and me? A long time ago, you and I had quite a spark going between us. And something, something like that doesn't just go away. It's, it's probably still there, and maybe this is our chance to find out. <laughs> we were something, the two of us. Yes, we were more than that. We were something else. <laughs> oh, but Bob, what we did best were those quiet times we had together, just, just loving each other. Talking about the baby and things, it just makes me feel warm all over. You're pretty cute, you know that? Oh, oh we're so very, very lucky. You really mean that? Of course I do. Well, sometimes, Mrs. Hughes, we hear you talk. I wonder. Oh, you know better than that. It could be our chance to rekindle what we had. I'm, I'm flattered that you feel that way. You mean you don't, you're not interested? I'd rather remember us fondly. Because I, I'm a better man, a better father, a better husband. Because Lisa Miller once loved me. Lisa Miller can still love you. But I love Kim. Whether she's my wife or not. Okay, so I guess that's your choice, isn't it? It is. And I'm positive. Okay. Can't blame a girl for trying. Hmm. Let me help you. <laughs> I do. Tell me, please. Ghetto, I wish you could. But this is between Bob and me. You know, you might think that this is just between you and Bob, but it's not. You two are the cornerstone of our family. Everyone is affected by what's going on here. Well, it may be true, but... I'm not going to cave in and go back to Bob just to make everybody else happy. You mean everything to him. <laughs> I used to think I did. So go to him. Talk to I him. I can't. How about just for me now? Bob and I have to handle this ourselves. And not just because... Everybody we love expects it of us. So, what happened at the party? Um, I'll tell you the details later. I was just wondering why you never came in. Well, uh, before I even got to the door, Casey saw me and he came out, we talked, and he didn't exactly make me feel welcome. So. Well, I'm sure he was just tense with everything that was happening inside. No, I don't think it was about that. It was a crazy day, trust me. I'm sure Casey didn't have a problem with you being there. I know Chris didn't. Okay, I, well, why are you pushing this? Well, it's just, it's all about peace. Peace? Yes. Between you and Casey, the Hughes and the Stewarts. Bob and Kim just want everybody to get along. Yeah, that would be nice. 
Casey still cares about you, and I know Chris does too, and I know you care about them, don't you? Of course. <laughs> so don't give up on this. You need to tell Kim you'll do whatever she wants. Definitely. You know how much Mom loves it when you tell her she's right? Yes, and it might help if you get her present, like flowers or something. You ask these guys over to give me married lessons. Dad, we all care about you. I know you're the only one who's happily married. Gentlemen, how would you rate your uh, long-term relationship with women? It's a zero. Less than zero. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Listen, uh, I really don't need any more advice from you guys today, okay. all right? No offense. Wait a minute. This is crazy. Dad, I know how much you and Mom love each other, okay? No matter how much you argue, no matter how much you disagree. This isn't a little disagreement. She walked out on me. Yeah. And I remember when you walked out on Mom after your affair with Susan. Chris, well, let me finish, please. Look, I was young. Dad, but I remember. Of course you do. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry we put you through that. We tried to shield you from our problems. Well, look, I know you did. But you know what I remember most about it? What? The day you and Mom decided to renew your vows. You are my life. You are love. Our family. Our marriage. I promise that I will continue to share all that I have, all that I am, all that I ever might be with you for the rest of our lives. You are my life mate, my lover, my best, my ever friend. rest of my life, all of it, with you, for as long as we live. You two really have been through so much. Well, we were apart for a long while. It took a long time to uh, find each other again, but we did. We were lucky. Yeah. And that ceremony really meant something I mean, to all of us. Especially the part you swore you'd always deal with each other openly and honestly. I have to the best of my ability. Is that what you're doing now? You and Mom, you're lying to yourselves, you're lying to each other. And unless you start telling the truth, then you could lose everything. My son just called me a, a liar. <laughs> Perfect ending to a perfect day. Do you want me to explain? Yes, I do, doctor. Uh, uh, psychoanalyze me. What's the basis of your diagnosis? You and Mom, you're both scared to death. And you won't admit it. I see. What am I afraid of? Getting old. Nice. nice. How can I be afraid of something that's already happened? Dad, it's the same reason you don't step down at the hospital. Because you're afraid that if you do... For even a second, everything's going to slip away. Well, there's nothing new about that. I've felt that since I was 20. Yeah, but you have something now that you didn't have when you were 20. Kim. No one can replace you in your relationship with Kim. Well, what about Kim? What is she afraid of? It's obvious, Dad. Losing you. Then why would she lead me? Dude, I just... When was the last time you told Kim she was hot? Okay. You know, I really don't think that's the problem. Yeah. I do. I, I do. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sorry. No. Please. You two have had your turn. Let's see what he has to say. Thank you. So, Kim's the one, right? The great love of your life. There's no other woman that exists for you. Uh, just, yes. Just don't let mom hear you say that. So, how how is she supposed to know that if you keep spending all your time, like, thinking about and being at the hospital? I mean, if you're not putting her first, how do you expect her to feel? Oh. Huh. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay. So what do I do? The same thing you did 25 years ago. Woo her. We should have been together. I just want to show you how much I love you. Marry me. 
marry me, Kim. What's your answer? You know what my answer is. I want to hear you say it. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I want to marry you more than anything else in the world. I already asked her to marry me tonight, and she turned me down flat. Well, this time, don't ask your wife. Ask the woman you love. What happened between you and Casey was unfortunate. Unfortunate? Katie, it was a train wreck. I mean, I basically dumped him at the altar. That's kind of a big thing to ask someone to forgive, much less an entire family. Okay, here's one thing I know for sure. There's not one person in the Hughes family who hasn't made an enormous mistake once or twice or more than that. <sighs> you are not the only person in this town who's ever messed up, Allison. Yeah, well, sometimes it feels like it. You gotta get past this. You work with Bob and Chris and Casey. You can't just avoid them. So you're gonna have to try to get along. Why don't you come to the wedding? I'll think about it. May I come in? I will be in my bedroom. So, how are you? Single. And you? The same. I'm uh, drowning in unsolicited advice. <laughs> was that any of it any good? Most of it was useless. Mm -hmm. Tom suggested that I woo you. I kind of like that. Woo? Was that his word or yours? No, his, his. I, I think he was trying to uh, uh, cross the generational divide. And that's why you came? To woo you? Unless you'd be receptive. That's something I'd like a lot better. Mm. I suppose another apology would be kind of weak. Mm. And ordering you to go home would be a bad thing to... Would probably really tick me off. Okay, then let's just tell it like it is. Okay. Even the slightest chance of losing you shakes me up. Whether it's legal or illegal. The last 25 years with you in my heart have been the happiest and most fulfilling. And. And? I don't want that to continue. You don't? No, I don't want things to be the same with you. I want a new beginning. With somebody else? What? Where did you get that? Well, you just said you want a new no, beginning. No, no, with you. Oh. Oh. I want you. Just you. Always you. You're a part of me. The better part. Gosh. That's a choice treat. You make me better, too. And I really love everything you're saying, but I can't let you say any more because I can't let myself be sucked in by romance. Why not? Because I need more than sweet words. I need you. Oh, my God, I need years with you. And if you keep working the way you are, you're going to kill yourself, and then I'm going to be... Spending whatever is left of my life kicking myself because I settled for a promise and lost the man I love. Well, I guess you'd... I guess that you'd be stubborn about this, so... Uh, Casey thought that I should uh, give you a, a cool present. That's very sweet. But do you really think that presents are going to solve our problems. No. But this might. It's my resignation as chief of staff at the hospital. And I'll turn it into the board of directors tomorrow. If you'll marry me.
What are you doing? I'm not going to let you get your work. What do you want? I want... I want a dinner once in a while, uninterrupted by telephone calls. I want date nights and weekend rendezvous and kisses and wooing. Well, uh, make that mutual wooing and, and I'm aboard. Oh, darling. Years ago. Twenty-five years ago. It seemed like the time that we had together was infinite. And we're so much older now and we know better. We just can't let what we have be taken for granted. I need you to understand that. And I do. So, will you, uh, officially marry me tomorrow in front of our kids, family, our friends? A sunrise ceremony like it was 25 years ago? <laughs> Kim, are you ready? You bet I am. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Thank you. Bob, you know I've always cared deeply about you. Well, it's mutual, Susan. And since this might be our last chance, and you just happen to be single at the moment... I love Kim. Oh. But we'll always be friends. But never more than that. Nicely done, my friend. I don't know why I had to go through that. Do, do, do you know how foolish I felt? That man obviously wants to stay married to Kim. Well, look, if I had to hit on him, so did you. That was our deal. What are you two talking about? Um, well... Actually, we were testing you to see if you really wanted to be married to Kim. And guess what? You passed. Congratulations. Yeah. We both hope that you and Kim will be very, very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Minister is here. Hey. Perfect. <laughs> Reverend, it's a pleasure to meet you. May I see your credentials, please? Yeah, I beg your pardon. Driver's license, too, please. Yeah, it's like I explained, Reverend, after what happened first time, we're all a little nervous. Thank you. Don't want to make the same mistake again. Where is she going? Um, she'll be back soon, as soon as she runs a background check. Hello. Need any help? No, nah, I think we're good. Uh, are we the last two arrived? Uh, Barbara and Kitten still aren't here yet. So here they are. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, you look I really... Don't know. Thank you. Thank you. You're looking pretty hot yourself. Mom, you look amazing. Oh, honey, thanks <laughs> so much. Thank and you. And I am so relieved that you two are back together, oh. okay, the way it should be. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that Franny couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. I know how much that would have uh, meant to you if she was here. Well, it would have been nice, and no doubt about it. But you know your sister. Actually, both your sisters are both down in Haiti doing very important work, not unlike what you used to do. Well, guess it runs in the family, huh? <laughs> I guess it does. <laughs> Mom, are you ready? I'm ready. The question is, are you? <laughs> <laughs> We're good to go. All right, then. Let's gather around. Okay. All right. Oh, Jim. You're pretty. Thank well, Marco, you. Marco, where do you want us? Oh, you're fine. Just stay seated. Wait a minute. Where's Barbara? Oh, my God. You're so beautiful. It's impossible to be near you and not touch you. Then what are you waiting for? Barbara, wedding's about to begin. I'll be right down. Later. Go, 
go get the camera. Sure. Thanks. <clears throat> Haven't we done this before? Um, I know being around me bothers you, and I don't want to ruin this day for you. Um, but I forgot to uh, leave this with you yesterday. And I thought, um... What? What did you think, Alice? I just wanted them to know that whatever happened between you and me, that I would always still love and respect them. Will you uh, please give this to them? I have a better idea. Come on. Be a part of the wedding. Hey, look who showed up. What took you so long? Everyone, we're about to begin. Dearly beloved. I, Robert, take you, Kimberly, to be my wife. And I, Kimberly... Take you, Robert, to be my husband. To be your faithful partner. To have and to hold. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish from this day forward. For as long as we both shall live. And then some. <laughs> <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Uh. <laughs> Are we good with that? We're yeah, good with that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God I'm legitimate again. <laughs> you have any sparkling cider over there, Margot? Uh, this is sparkling wine. Are you on duty? No, oh, this is for Allison. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To Dad and Kim, uh, without whom the world would surely spin off its axis. <laughs> like all marriages, theirs is imperfect complicated, but nonetheless, an example for us all. I'll drink to that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you honey. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. Uh, I know I wasn't really invited, but it was oh. a beautiful ceremony. Oh, oh, sweetheart. We were so glad you were here, for heaven's yeah. sakes. Thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you. Bye-bye. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Love you. Are you leaving? Oh, yeah, I, I have uh, work to go to the hospital. I'm glad you came. So am I. And it's good talking to you. It's good talking to you, too, Mass. It's a lovely wedding. The way they look at each other, you could almost feel the deep, passionate connection between them. Do you know where the bathroom is? Follow me. Just somebody we forgot to invite? Daddy! Oh, 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 oh. oh I'm so glad. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. I wouldn't have missed this. Stop meddling, Katie. Hey. I'm just giving you what you wanted. What? When did I ever say that I wanted Allison? Well, you kept dropping hints that she should be here because of Casey, but I know it was really for you. You are very wrong. You are very nosy. You need to back off. Fine. Fine. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. That's wonderful. Thank you. Hi, Katie. 
Something wrong with your dress? Oh, no. No, no. It's good. I'm good. I'm thirsty. I'll see you downstairs. What are you doing in here? I'm sorry. What room is this? The bathroom. The bathroom? The bathroom. Uh, I must have blacked out or something. I had no idea what room I was Were in. Were you in here with Barbara? With who? With Barbara? No. Don't be sick. Do you see Barbara in here? That's so silly. Barbara. I've got to go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, I'd like to make a toast to my mother and father, two of the most loving, beautiful people I've ever known. I'm so honored to be your daughter. I'm so happy to be part of this special day. You mean more to me than I could ever put into words. To Bob and Ken. Thank, Thank you, darling. <laughs> I'd like to add something to Franny's toast. To my beautiful bride, to my family, and all our friends. Each and every day that the world turns has been a blessing and a joy. Cheers. 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 Cheers.